Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and I've uh, been doing a Let's Play featuring Industrial Craft, Build Craft, Equivalent Exchange, and a few other mods. Um, I've had a lot of people asking for help on how to install these mods together, and I decided to do a video for you guys. Uh, I've had enough people ask me for it that I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And uh, you're in luck that it's actually very, very easy. Uh, these mods all play very nicely together because uh, most of them are built on the Minecraft Forge API, which is gaining a lot of popularity. Um, and the only thing you really need to do to fix this is to modify some block IDs. So without further ado, I'm going to get started. Uh, your best bet is to clean out your .minecraft folder here, as you can see. You can leave your last login and options.txt in there if you want, but, uh, you know, not a big deal. I'm going to go ahead and launch Minecraft and log in. Okay, so once your uh, download is done, you'll see Minecraft here running, and you'll know it's working because uh, you get to a login screen. Uh, go ahead and close that out. And the first thing you want to do is grab Mod Loader, Mod Loader MP, uh, Audio Mod, which I forgot to grab for you guys. And Minecraft Forge, right there. Uh, all these links are found in the forum post that I gave you. Open up your bin, open up your Minecraft jar. I like to use 7-zip, up to you what you use. First step, delete the meta.inf. That thing's a piece of junk and it'll mess you up. If you forget to delete that, you'll get a black screen. Okay, go into your mod loader folder, grab everything, drop it into your uh, Minecraft jar and hit yes to the message you get. Mod loader MP, same deal. Yes. Minecraft Forge, everything in there. And if you're not sure how to install Audio Mod by now, you weren't paying attention to the first three I did, because it's the exact same step. Okay? Close out of your Minecraft jar, and just to be safe, launch Minecraft.exe. And log in. Look in our Minecraft folder here. If you get to a login screen, you're good. Close out. You'll see there's a modloader.txt that shows up, a mods folder, and a resources folder has some uh, mod stuff in it as well. Next, what you want to do, um, Alblocka says to install Industrial Craft directly into your jar. Um, I personally believe it would work if you just dropped it in your mod loader folder, but I'm going to follow his instructions because that's what he says to do, and I'm going to go into my Industrial Craft version 1.0, which you download off his website, and put it directly in the jar. Like I said, you might be able to just put it in the mods folder, I don't know, but I'm going to go with his instructions, that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, that should be the last thing you need to put in your jar. But, if you want to, and I'm going to do it just to test, you can install too many items, that also has to go into your jar file. Okay. Back to your mods folder here, actually. Yeah, I think I closed the wrong thing there. So uh, we've gone ahead and put all our stuff into the bin. We should be good with that now. Um, Industrial Craft also has some sound files. You're going to want to drop this sound file into your resources mod folder. And there's a sound file in there. Just copy it on top and say yes to the warning you get. All right, at this point, Industrial Craft should be installed. Let's test that by launching Minecraft. We see Mojang is good, create a new world, building terrain. So how are we going to test that uh, Industrial Crowd is installed properly? Well, that's why I put TMI on there. Open up your inventory. Okay, see all that cool stuff? That's all Industrial Craft stuff, so we know we're good. Save and quit close out. Now let's get the rest of our mods installed. Go into your mods folder, and we're going to install convenient inventory. I don't think I linked that in my forum post, but I might. I just like that guy. Okay. Portal gun. When you download portal gun, it'll come with a folder uh, 
as well as a zip file. You're going to want to put both those guys in your mods folder. Up here. Okay. All of Buildcraft 2.1. I also grabbed extra Buildcraft pipes. That's optional. Copy those guys here. Equivalent exchange. Make sure to get the Forge version, as I mentioned in my forum post. Recipe book. Red Power Core and Logic. Grab those guys into your mods folder. Uh, Tree Capitator is cool. I think I mentioned it in my first episode. And the Wireless Redstone mods. Copy all that stuff in. Now, if we were to launch Minecraft right now, we'd probably get a black screen and crash. Let's see what happens. Log in. Oh, fail. But it's important to log in because if you paid attention to the background here, it created a Buildcraft folder. We need that Buildcraft folder. Okay. The problem here, if you look at your modloader.txt, which I'll bring over to the screen for you, is that there are some uh, IDs that are already in use and causing problems. So if we go into our buildcraft folder, config, buildcraft.cfg, um, I found out what mods work. You're just going to want to put this stuff into your buildcraft.cfg. And I put this in the forum post for you. Once you're done with that, close out, save, and just to confirm, buildcraft.cfg, these are all the block IDs you use. And now let's try running Minecraft again. Look, it launched, hooray! Go into my new world. You should create a new world at this point because Buildcraft modifies the way terrain is generated, so you definitely want to um, create a new world once all your mods are installed. Uh, here's some industrial craft stuff. Uh, here's some more industrial craft stuff. Equivalent exchange toys. Um, red power and red wire toys. Uh, Buildcraft stuff. Portal gun stuff. You can check using TMI that everything installed correctly. And that's really all there is to it, guys. Um, you can now go... Uh, if you want to install any other mods beyond these mods that I have listed here, um, it's on you guys to figure out how to get the IDs to work correctly between all the different mods. Um, but at least that's what I'm using. And like I said, the big ones, well, actually, they're all big. Buildcraft is awesome. Industrial Craft 2 is really awesome. Equivalent Exchange is really awesome. And uh, Red Power, Wireless Redstone, and Portal Gun are all lots of fun. So, uh, you know, it's up to you guys to see what other mods you can get working. But uh, have fun with them, and if you have any questions, feel free to respond to my forum post. I'll be linking the forum post in my YouTube comments, and I'll be linking the YouTube video in my forum post. So I'll catch y'all.